Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And that gets things running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. Uh, his small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger, slower defenders. And his turning sharpness is another very tricky part of his game. And he's a handful. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Pellegrini. Walker. Gets into the right position to intercept. Rodri. Cristante. There too. Plays it out to the flank. Sinchenko cuts it out. Well positioned to make that interception. Spinazzola. Fair to say, I think a cautious start from both teams. Fair too. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. Rodri. Laporte, Sinchenko, and it's played forward, nicely controlled, and here's Grealish, and it's Hernandez, he goes long, good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Pellegrini. Abraham. Now a chance to break. De Bruyne sticks in a foot to win it back. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Vertu, Vertu plays it forward. 30 minutes gone. Into the channel. A chance to play it in. He's had a... Oh, shooting chance! 
Sinchenko with the clearance. Looks to chop one in. And that's been levered clear. Pellegrini Laporte gets it away Well, it's a crossing feast here, but I'd advise Hits one! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper Zaniolo really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then But how wrong he was Abraham! And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Zinchenko. Ruben Diaz. Karsdorp tries to clear. Manchester City have it back and they can go again. Zinchenko has come steaming up from the back for this. We hit half time. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Already up and running for the second half. Manchester City, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second-best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Pellegrini, Vertu, tries to get it forward quickly. That's a decent ball. Abraham showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Sterling, that's good defending, very good defending. Cristante. Cristante switches it towards the other side. And it's Hernandez, and here's Sterling. Goes down, but nothing given. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And here's Grealish. Looks to clip it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Cristante goes looking. Forward it goes. Abraham. And he's on his way. Abraham! Oh, that is rather wayward. Abraham looked very impressive there. Well, at least until he got into a shooting position, something I'm sure he'll want to have a go at again. Roma are making a change now. Rodri played out to the right. De Bruyne. Grealish. It's out for a goal kick. Put the changes then in quick succession. <laughs> that was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Roma seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Cristante drives it forward. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. And he's made sure that that won't get through. 
Manchester City cannot keep hold of the ball. And Sterling! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Out to the right. It's gone for a throw-in. Karlsdorp. Mkhitaryan. Pastore. Real chance! Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Mkhitaryan. That's Mkhitaryan. Towering header. Oh, it's in! And that might well be that. Roma are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Roma take what looks to be a decisive lead. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find it necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Finds himself eased off the ball. Steered forward. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Foden. Abraham. Santon. And that's that. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Manchester City simply forgot to turn up with an attack, Peter. And